The Rail-EZ Nautilus system combines the modern look of horizontal stainless steel cable and tensioners with the low maintenance quality of stainless steel tubing and optional vinyl post components. The following video will take you through the process of installing your Rail-EZ Nautilus system. Along the way we'll offer you step-by-step -step instructions to help you get your railing installed today and ready for tomorrow. Before you begin, you will need the following tools to install your railing. A power drill, chalk line, carpenter square, a level, tape measure, a pencil, 5 32nd inch cable cutters, 1 8 inch allen wrench, 5 16 and 7 16 inch open wrenches, 1 8 inch drill bit, 7 32nd inch drill bit, and the Real Easy drill template. Before you begin the Rail-EZ Nautilus installation process, your deck must be completed and railing posts must be installed, including the optional vinyl post components if your system includes them. When your rail system arrives on site, take time to make sure that all the parts are included and undamaged. Report any inconsistencies with your Atlantis Rail representative as soon as you are aware of the issue. Start your installation by transferring your desired railing height to the post. Measure from the top of the decking material and mark the height onto each post. To speed up this process, you can measure every other post and use a chalk line to transfer this measurement to the intermediate post. With these marks as a reference, use a square to transfer a line onto the side of the post with the side mounts will be installed. Then measure and mark the center point of the post using a tape measure. Repeat this process for each post in your application. Align the top inside edge of each side mount with the marked railing height lines, making sure that the side mounts are centered on the post. Pre-drill the mounting holes using a 1 8 inch drill bit. If you supplied a project drawing to Atlantis Rail, the rails for your project will arrive pre-labeled according to your drawing. We recommend labeling each post according to your project drawing to avoid any confusion during installation. If your project includes MicroStar LED lighting installed in the top rails, drill through holes for the electrical wiring at this time. Locate the center of the side mount fittings and drill a hole through each post using a half inch drill bit. Thread the supplied jumpers through each hole in preparation for installing the top rails. Lay out the side mounts for each rail section. Loosen the set screws and slide each side mount fitting onto the end of the rail with the flanges facing out. Make any necessary wire connections. Be sure to test each MicroStar LED for proper functionality and make any necessary adjustments before installing the rail. Stuff the wire connection into the end of the rail. Install each top rail using the supplied screws while making the necessary electrical connections as you go. Once all of the top rails are installed, Mark the location of your first tensioner. Measure down from the bottom of the top rail and mark the center of the post. Using the Real Easy Drill Template as a guide, mark the mounting holes for each tensioner. If your system includes a bottom rail, Measure and mark the location of the top of your bottom rail at this time. Use a carpenter square to mark a reference line. You can use a chalk line to transfer this measurement to the intermediate posts. Align the top inside edge of each side mount with the reference line and mark the mounting holes for the side mounts on each post. 
pre-drill the mounting holes using a 1 8 inch drill bit. Loosen the set screws and slide each side mount fitting onto the end of the rail with the flanges facing out. Install each bottom rail using the supplied screws. Once all of the bottom rails are installed, pre-drill the mounting holes for each tensioner. Working from the bottom of the post up, mount each tensioner with the supplied screws. Once all the tensioners are mounted, it's time to mark the cable through holes on each mid post. Measure down and mark the through holes on the post using the Rail Easy drill template as a guide. On stairs and ramps, hold each end of a chalk line on the center of each top tensioner and snap a line for marking the location of the top through hole on mid posts. Transfer a line for the top through hole using the chalk line as a reference. Mark each through hole location using the Rail Easy drill template. Drill through holes in each mid post using a 7 32nd inch drill bit. Drill from one side and then the other to ensure a perfectly aligned hole for running cable through. Now that the top rails, bottom rails, and tensioners are installed and through holes are drilled, it's time to run cable. Start by extending each receiver out a minimum of three quarters of an inch. For longer cable runs, you will need to extend the receivers an inch and a half to be sure you have enough room to tension the cable. Wearing proper eye protection, unwrap one of the supplied cable spools. Be careful, cable can uncoil rapidly. Working off the spool, run the first cable length to the end post. Feed the cable through the mid post as you go. Insert the cable into the cone of the tensioner, making sure the cable is fully seated. Attach the cable by holding the tensioner stud in a fixed position while tightening the cone. Tighten the cone fully until there are no longer any threads showing. With the cable attached to this tensioner, Pull the cable to the opposite tensioner. Using the tensioner as a reference, mark the cable where it meets the base of the tensioner cone, and cut the cable to length with cable cutters. Use this first cable length to measure and cut the next cable. Remember to hold one end of the cable at the base of the tensioner cone. Making sure that the cables are pulled tight, mark and cut the cable to length. You can use this cable to cut the additional cables for this section of railing. Run each cable through the mid post. Attach one side of each cable to the tensioners as you go. Then attach each cable to the tensioners on the other end. Now that the cables are run and attached to tensioners on each end, it's time to tension each cable. Following the tension in sequence shown, start in the middle and work outward. Hold the tensioner stud in a fixed position using a wrench, and rotate the body using an Allen wrench to tension. 
Tension each end of the cable so the thread exposure is consistent. Once you reach the desired tension, tighten the lock nut into place. Once the remaining cables are properly tensioned, your Real Easy Nautilus installation is now complete. Enjoy the view.